Well, next, scientists from Newcastle University are helping to design the next generation of lifeboats. They're hoping to make them faster and even safer in severe weather. They're doing it by testing model ships in a laboratory. The data gathered will help the RNLI to upgrade their lifeboats. Well, our reporter Johnny Blair joined the team as they embark on a four-year study which could eventually change rescue boats right across the country. They save lives at sea, but are designed on dry land. This is the towing tank at Newcastle University, where new boat designs are being tested, filmed and recorded. That is actually how it rolls with the waves. The information will help the RNLI upgrade its fleet of 130 lifeboats. First of all, the Seven lifeboat is a phenomenal boat and it really is strong, but at the same time it has to experience incredibly harsh environments. We want to make sure the lifeboat can go fast, we want to make sure it can ride over waves, and we want to make sure that the structure remains intact. Scientists will test different designs and structures in a variety of conditions. So in this experiment, we can see it's calm water and we're just measuring the calm water resistance of the boat. So we could use this information, for example, to work out what sort of engine to put in the back of the boat. We'll bring it by now. Also being examined how to make its crew even safer. If the lifeboat's running through the waves, um, it will often actually leave the water and then come back and impact onto the water surface. So when the boat slams into the water, um, we want to know, A, what happens to the underside of the hull structure. So somewhere around here would be particularly interesting for us. But also, of course, all that slamming load, all that impact, is also transferred to where the crew are sitting in the, in the cockpit. Tests will also happen at sea, under the eye of the RNLI. How rough do the seas get out there? Um, we can really get some rough seas um, where we take the lifeboat out and it's really, really slamming in, into you know steep waves, breaking waves, that sort of thing, and it puts an awful lot of force on the hull, uh, and obviously that's got an effect on the the lifespan of the lifeboat. We all have high expectations for this project. We all have, we all expect that the findings from the research will contribute to improving the performance of lifeboats and uh, uh, was providing the crews with the safest possible environment. Work on the next generation of lifeboats is happening in the northeast, where the very first was used more than 200 years ago. Johnny Blair, ITV News.